This game makes no sense at all. If Monokuma twisted the truth for this case, then he could have twisted it for the other cases as well, making this killing game unfair. Then, it's not even a killing game anymore. It's just killing. Ah. <laughs> uh... More like just an unfair killing game. I won't forgive them. Yeah. I'll never forgive them for breaking the rules and killing Kaede. That's right. So I'll never forgive them. And I will avenge Kaede. I swear on her kindness and her love. And her grave, then I will avenge her. Yeah! How dare the mastermind create the detonator that blew up the adorable one of them? You're the one that blew him up. Don't pass the buck. Anyway, we know the mastermind is also Rantaro's killer. Let's figure out who that is. That is, if Monokuma still wants to continue this class trial. <laughs> No, Monokuma. I will end this. I will reveal the identity of the Mastermind and end the killing game. Um, may I interject? You keep accusing this so-called Mastermind, but... Are you sure there's even a Mastermind at all? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Are you sure you bastards aren't imagining it? If the Mastermind is real, show him to us. You guys are the ones hiding them! It's possible the Mastermind is still in this academy. The Survivor Perk said so. If they were involved in Rantaro's murder, there's no doubt. Then they must have snuck in during the Gopher Project and stayed hidden in the account. What, what was that all about? What, what what was that all about? They must have snuck in during the Gopher Project and stayed hidden in the Academy. Ah. I just realized something. Say it, or I'll cast my all the guys you date will be single fathers curse. <laughs> Younger twin sister. Oh no, 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 you, you, you underhanded piece of human garbage. What a piece of garbage. Her what? Younger twin sister? It was on this Gopher Project participant list. She has a twin sister. I, oh. Guys, guys, she's she's absolutely she's the worst to me right now. It seems sort of weird to me. Juku and Oshima had a twin too, right? Are you saying those same circumstances apply here as well? I don't want to hear it. This killing game was influenced a lot by the past one, right? So maybe the Mastermind's real identity was too! The Mastermind who snuck into the Academy and made us play the sick game. Is Kaede's twin sister? That's bullshit and you know it! Maybe. I guess that's a possibility. Either way, there's no doubt that the Mastermind is hiding somewhere in this school. That you couldn't find them during your final investigation. You're not allowed to leave while the trial's in session, so you can't search for them now. Don't need to. You can't leave during a trial unless you got a pee. Oh, I got a pee. We're not going for that one. <laughs> Kaede's twin sister. Is the mastermind still hiding somewhere? Is she really the mastermind? Is it really that simple? Please don't be an idiot. Go 
pull through this BS. Oh, what evidence do I have to use? You guys figure out the identity of the mastermind? Besides the 16 of us at this school. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Survivor perks monopad. It's a 17th person, too. Hold on. Who's to the mastermind? Sixth monopad. I don't see anything that's stated only 16. That 17th person is the mastermind! It could be Paiety's younger twin sister. Just like the previous killing game, the mastermind might have a twin for this game, too. If it really is the same as the previous killing game, then Kaede would still be alive. And she could potentially be the mastermind. Who cares? You're still no closer to the answer! Leaving while the trial's in session. According to the list of the, of the project participants, Kaede had a twin sister. Maybe it's correct, but we have to determine something first. Can you guys figure out the identity of the mastermind? Determine something first. Um. Determine something first. Person two. That seventeenth person is the mastermind. It could be seventeenth. The seventeenth person is the mastermind. Seventeenth <sighs> person is the mastermind. According to Mother Kuma, the mastermind goes to the hidden room quite often. Seems as though the person operating was being cautious not to be seen by anyone. So why would they have ever left? Is that what... Is that what we're about to... Is that the argument I'm trying to make? God! No, it's gotta be that! Last mine was hidden in the room with me! Okay, okay. I was wrong! So it's not that. Oh wait, I, did I click the wrong one? Okay, I was right. I just, for some reason I had it on the wrong one. Because I'm an idiot. No, the mastermind can't be a 17th person. That contradicts what Mother Kuma said. The one you're all looking for comes to this room quite often. It implies that the mastermind wasn't in the hidden room the whole time. Yeah. They must have been coming and going between the room and the academy, right? Would someone who has to stay completely hidden really risk that? Y you wouldn't. Right. If they were trying to hide, they would have just stayed put. I see. That's some impressive logic. Don't agree with him. And during the investigation, I found a classroom that makes flashback lights. A classroom that makes flashback lights? Oh, don't pretend like you don't know. Uh, I'll explain the details later. But there was something interesting. Right at that moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. There you are, Shuichi! Himiko? Huh? The classroom changed back to normal? When the door is opened, the classroom reverts to its original state. Clearly, the room is hiding something. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? The mastermind didn't want anyone to see them making flashback lights. Of course they didn't, Mr. Mastermind. But why create such a classroom at all? If the mastermind were a 17th person, they could have their own completely separate room to make flashback lights. That's a good point. Why did they make it convoluted like that? Indeed, that would be much safer. 
Knowing this, we can make a few assumptions about the Mastermind's identity. However, the implications aren't good. What an ominous way to say it. But there's nothing to worry about. We got this far because we're friends. <laughs> In this together, no matter what, there's nothing to fear. Except that one of us has to be the mastermind, by Shuichi's logic. It's okay, though. I already know who it is. Yeah, she's right. The mastermind's identity. Considering the facts we have, my detective work points to... Spin of the killing game. That's it. The mastermind is most likely one of the participants of this killing game. W one of the participants? <laughs> one of the 16 people who were forced to play this game. One of us. W what did you say? The classroom that makes flashback lights in the hidden room being visited often. So one of the reasons why I I really suspected uh, Samugi from from the start, um, I tend to see that like the the people who are most active in in a in a trial um, at the start of the uh, at the start of the game. Um, and this is how I was really quick to figure out who was going to live and who was going to die. Typically, the most active people in the trial are going to be a major survivor or someone who's going to die in the last, in like the last trial or so. And the more unimportant you are to like the the group dynamic of whatever's going on to push you towards more killings and stuff, the more the more likely that you're going to be either a victim or a killer. Um, Samugi was very inactive in the trials, in, in my opinion. She didn't really add much. She was just kind of, you know, just scooting along through the trials. And that made me suspect that she was either going to uh, kill or be a victim. Now, her, her ultimate talent always lended me to thinking that she was going to be a killer. Um, I kind of refused to, to budge on that point because I, I felt like her, her talent was just too good to not be the killer um, talent. It all suggests that the mastermind is someone we'd see every day at the academy. Someone we'd see every day? Like one of the 16 students? That's crazy! There's no way one of us is the mastermind! Because we're all friends. We swore to fight together. <laughs> then it just means that all your friendship talk was a lie, right? Shut up! That's not possible! <laughs> You're upset and irrational. At times like this, a voice of reason is necessary. Absolutely necessary! Got it! We're up! <laughs> All right, we're gonna put on a reasonable yet outstanding show and earn our right to live. Eh? Our right to live? Is someone about to die? Is that what's going on? Uh, yeah, one of you guys. Whatever, I don't believe you. There's no way the mastermind's here. Wait, even if it's one of the 16 students, it doesn't mean it's one of us, does oh, it? Oh no, it's one of us. Huh? What do you mean? It's possible that the Mastermind merely faked their death and has been alive this whole time. Oh no, it's someone who's very much alive. Now that we know Monokuma will break rules as he sees fit, that possibility should be... What's that supposed to mean? Hurry up and answer! Identity of the mastermind, we'll know for sure. Once we determine who killed Rantaro. 
We need to confirm something to find out who that is. Uh, alibis for Rantara's murder. Yeah. <laughs> we need to go over everyone's alibi for Rantaro's murder again. Our alibis from way back then? Oh, don't you worry, Smoogie. I remember your alibi. Didn't we discuss that during the first trial? What good would it do to discuss it again? Kibo, don't be ridiculous. What good would it do? We're we're trying to figure out who killed Rantaro, i.e. the mastermind. Now that we know Rantaro was killed by the mastermind, it might lead somewhere. We might find a hole in someone's alibi that we didn't see at the time. Ah. Uh. So we just have to give our alibis again. Give me your alibi. Fine. Then let's do it. So we can be sure that the mastermind's not one of us. <laughs> I wonder where this discussion will lead. Will it lead to a mastermind in this very room? Or not? Either way, we're gonna make sure this trial stays exciting! Okay, this one's gonna be easy. Hit him on passageway. Let me make sure. Yes. Hit in room passageway. With Kaito and Gonta and Maki. Also, Tango and Angie were there too. Even if I was in the same basement, it's impossible for me to have killed Rantaro. Hey! I didn't kill Rantaro either! It's fine. I was in my room by myself. So were Ryoma and Kokichi too. I know that is a poor alibi, but I did not kill Rantaro. That's fine. I was in the dining hall. Kyo, Mew, and Kirumi were with Come on, me. say it. Though I did leave briefly to use the bathroom, I couldn't have killed him. BS! That's wrong! Oh, I got you now. Wait a minute, Sumugi. Huh? You said you went to the bathroom. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall to, you know, just freshen up. The girls' bathroom near the dining hall, right? What did you say? That bathroom? Huh? What? What about it? Shuichi, didn't you investigate the girls' bathroom? Did you find anything? The utility closet in that bathroom has a hidden passageway. One that's connected to the hidden room in the back of the library. Which means it's possible to get into the hidden room from that bathroom. <laughs> What? Oh, don't what me. Around the time Rantaro was killed, Tsumugi went to that exact bathroom. I'm positive that when Rantaro was killed, the culprit was in the hidden room. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Hold on. This is all so sudden. I don't think I understand. But maybe they got there from the hidden door in the library instead. No, they would have been caught on the. They would have been caught on the cameras. No. Dust in the oh, the, in the dust. Library. I was trying to determine if the hidden door was opened with a card reader. But the dust didn't fall. That means nobody used that card reader. So, to enter the hidden room, they would need to use a different route. The girls' bathroom. Yes, I believe that's the case. The culprit entered the hidden room from the girls' bathroom on the first floor. And with the help of Mother Kuma, watched the situation in the library unfold. As soon as they saw the Kaede's plan fail, they waited for the camera interval and leaped out of the hidden room, shot put ball in hand. The hidden door could open from the inside, so there was no need to use the card reader. In any case, the culprit attacked Rantaro with a shot put ball, left it in the library, picked up the shot that Kaede had used, and return to the hidden room. And they also took the survivor perk monopad that Rantaro had, right? 
Yes, then they left the monopad and the shot in the hidden room, headed into the passageway, and returned to the girl's bathroom. Are you seeing the one who did it? Mr. Mugi? No, it has to be some kind of mistake. No, <laughs> it's no mistake. Up till now, everything pointed to the mastermind not being one of us. Even capable of doing all this? He's just a cosplayer, you know. Yeah, all this would be impossible for just some cosplayer. But you said that you went to that bathroom during Rantaro's murder. How can you possibly refute that fact? Refute? It's it's all just a coincidence. Oh, Kibo and Ryoma didn't have alibis. What if they went to the girls' bathroom? That would be so unlikely. Why would the mastermind build? The, the 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 girls' bathroom to be that. Did you see one of them in the girls' bathroom? Oh, that's a good point. What? If one of them had gone into that bathroom, you would have seen each other, right? But you never mentioned that. But that's Smoothie. What's the meaning of this? Can this really be true? Smoothie. Is this true? No, it's not! I really only went to use the bathroom. I didn't know about the hidden passage. Look lively, Mono Cubs! You're up! Move your asses! That's, That's very, very wrong! wrong. <laughs> it had the dead ones. Mama's never yelled at me like that before. If we don't do well here, we're all gonna get blown up together. What, what do we have here? We don't want uh, I don't know I what. We're like We're one of I don't know what Four Eyes is talking about. Bad guys never wear glasses. Anyway, just cut it out. We don't want to die. Monokuma and the Mastermind are the bad guys here. You don't want to die? Do you know how many of my friends were sacrificed? Please, help us! Is Four Eyes over there really the Mastermind? We don't know anything! I don't wanna... I don't wanna explode! Even if she is the culprit... Hey, let's just stop this! There's no evidence that she's the Mastermind! Oh, oh, oh. Please, hey, let's just stop this. There's no evidence that she's the mastermind. Yeah. I'll cut through your words. Before being destroyed, Mother Kuma told us something. I have a built-in voice for an authentication system. I can't birth Monokuma's. Unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. That individual is, of course, the mastermind. When the mastermind commands Mother Kuma to be killed, it makes a spare. We all tried it out. Uh, but Kiba wasn't there, was he? Right, because I was fighting the Exosols. Did you hear that? Kibo didn't try giving Mother Kuma a command. Yeah, well, you didn't say the word. So the real mastermind is... Tamugi was the only one who didn't say give birth. Huh? Everyone else said give birth. Whatever, just give birth to a Monokuma. Are you listening? We said to give birth to a new Monokuma. Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. Tsumugi specifically used a different phrase. Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma. You didn't say give birth. You said make. 
You knew how to get Mother Kuma to create a spare, didn't you? That's why you specifically said make. If you had said give birth, Mother Kuma would have made a spare. Am I right, Sumugi? Hey, come on. What's wrong? Don't be like that, Shuichi. Do you really think I'm the mastermind? Not only do I think it, I know it. Th there's just no way. You even tried to pin this on Kaede, you sick. Mm. Hey, everyone. Say something. I'm not the mastermind. That's crazy, right? Then refute it. We're waiting. Huh? I don't want to believe it either. That one of our friends, the survivors, could do this. That's why I'm begging, Sumugi. I'm begging you to refute me. I might be wrong. I... I was wrong before. About Kaede. That's why I need everyone's help. I don't care if my detective work is wrong. I want to hear your argument. Reaching the truth together is what cooperation means to me. Sumugi, please. Sumugi, please! What's the matter? You can't argue back after hearing that. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I like... I like Maki. She's a she's a no nonsense type of girl. She's like she's like I don't you need to speak up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now, but just hold on a sec. Oh, Monosuke's infamous impatience rears its ugly head. What an ugly head it is. I, I don't think friends should blame each other like this, you know. <laughs> Come on, smile, everyone. I know we can watch a comedy special so we can all smile. Kaboom. Jeez, you're noisy. Monosuke! <laughs> Why? You loved Monosuke so much. Oh, yeah. But we're at the good part now. So be quiet. Watch like good little cubs. Father? <laughs> See? It's getting exciting. Shuichi is trying to reveal the mastermind, trying to overcome despair. It's so heart pounding! We have the mastermind cornered. Why is Monokuma so calm? He should be feeling cornered as well. Forget it. We're only offensive here. If we can make the mastermind's identity clear, all this will be settled. Accuse. There's only one person to accuse, man. It has to be you. Mastermind of this killing game. And the culprit who killed Rantaro. There are no other possibilities. Anything to say? Yeah, seriously, say something. Uh, anything to say? Even if you keep saying all that stuff, I still don't get it. What a lame excuse. Hey, let's stop this already. You're mistaken. Because we're all friends, right? Weren't we going to work together to end this killing game? This is a class trial. Although we were forced into these class trials by the Mastermind, that's how we survived. It was the only way. It was the only way we could survive. So please, Tsumugi, refute the evidence. Say something. Your life depends on it. Please. Tsumugi, I don't want to suspect you. I want to believe in you. I want the Mastermind to be somewhere else, like in the previous Killing Games. If you're really not the Mastermind, then don't give up! I'll cheer you on! E even if you say that... <laughs> Samugi is taking her sweet time! But waiting around is so boring! Hey, Shuichi! Why don't we look over the case again? What? 
that's like your thing. Present the truth and end this. Because there are people who don't know what the heck is going on until we get to this part. Now then, let's start. Okay. This is the truth of the case. With this new evidence, let's look back at Rantaro's murder. The night of the incident, Kaede and I were in the first floor classroom. We were waiting for the mastermind to trigger the trap we set in the library. Around that time, there were four people in the dining hall, including the mastermind. The mastermind was probably irritated that no murders had yet occurred. After the motive was given, they knew that Kaede was planning something. But the mastermind wanted some insurance. They would take action if necessary. Right. The mastermind excused himself from the dining hall and went to the bathroom. And from there, to the hidden room in the library that only the mastermind could enter. And there they waited. With less than an hour before the time limit expired, Rantaro moved the library's bookcase, which set off the receiver I was holding. It all happened the way we determined in the first trial, except at the end. rolled the shot put ball into the air vent. At the same time, Rantaro was lured by the flash of the hidden camera Kaede set. He unwittingly stepped right into the path of the shot. rolled down the path Kaede made, and then fell right onto Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. Or so we thought. It turns out that was just what the mastermind wanted us to believe. In reality, Kaede's murder plan happened quite differently. The shot put ball that Kaede rolled <laughs> didn't actually hit Rantaro. He must have been surprised seeing the shot put ball drop out of nowhere like that, but his fate was sealed. The mastermind saw that Kaede's plan failed and stepped in to finish the job. The mastermind jumped out of the hidden room and attacked Rantaro from behind. So I, when, when I imagined her attacking Rantaro with this shot football, for some reason I didn't imagine her like just like using it as like a bludgeoning tool. I For some reason I imagined it more like just like throwing it. And in their hand, the real murder weapon, their own shot football. Rantaro wasn't killed by Kaede's shot, but by the masterminds. The mastermind picked up Kaede's shot and left their shot put ball at the scene. They also looted the survivor perk monopath from Rantaro's body. Those things in hand they retreated back into the hidden room. I remember seeing the bookcase closing just as Kaede and I got there. The mastermind had probably just finished their crime. And 
so. The real truth was perfectly hidden from us. We went to the class trial. Man, I'm sorry, Kaede. And reached the truth that Kaede was the culprit. But that truth had been twisted by the mastermind. After the murder, the mastermind left the stolen monopad on the table in the hidden room. And threw Kaede's shot put ball into the trash can. A little careless of them to not get rid of all the evidence. They probably believed no one would ever get into that room, but we did. Their crime complete, the mastermind went back through the hidden passageway. The passageway led from the hidden room all the way to... The girls' bathroom on the first floor. While the mastermind was pretending to use the girls' bathroom, they were actually using the hidden passageway. That's how they moved around without being noticed. Anyone could have used the hidden passageway, not just the people in the dining hall. God, I should have honestly, I should have honestly suspected something from the very beginning when Shuichi and Kaede were like searching together and they didn't go into each other's bathrooms. I should have suspected that something was wrong with one of the bathrooms. But looking at the survivors, only you could possibly be the mastermind. If I'm wrong, please refute me. Please tell us you aren't the mastermind. Tsumugi Shirogane. The ultimate cosplayer. That's the truth of this case, of the killing game itself. Well, Tsumugi. Well, what? Yes! What a scorching hot twist! My hand holding the detonator is. Don't get tense! C -c calm down! <laughs> Daddy! Please stop this! Go back to how you used to be! When you loved us all so much! How I used to be was more suited to a different story than this one! Are there any flaws in Shuichi's logic? If so, then please tell us. The flaws? There's a bunch of flaws all over it. Then explain. Then explain. <laughs> Whoa. Shima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. You're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's... It's all Junko's doing. This killing game is her doing too. Um, explain. Yeah. That's gotta be it. Because <sighs> Junko and Oshima is... Man, fighting her is so annoying because she's just, she's just rambling. Junko and Oshima is... Because Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Daddy, please don't get so excited. You pressed the button by accident. Look at our cute 
choices. Can you really bear to be without us? Junko Enoshima is... Junko Enoshima is what? Okay, time for a commercial break. <laughs> no, it isn't! See? We're a good comedy group, too. So please, don't... Goodbye. <laughs> Shima is your idol Junko or something? Enoshima is right the fuck here. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. See, I knew you were BSing. You can you can cosplay as people. Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go, what? Again? The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko Enoshima, the 53rd. 53rd? Ah. <laughs> no. It's not real. What? The 53rd? Does that mean there have been like 50 some odd other killing games? Junko Urashima. The 53rd? Sumugi. What's the matter? Aren't you Sumugi Shirogane? <laughs> ahead and forget about Simugi Shirogane. Because I'm just a character. You know, a lie. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. Uh, a lie? She was pretty boring. Simugi Shirogane was nothing more than a cover for me. The mastermind. <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really? I'm gonna laugh. Are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Junko Enoshima. So she really can cosplay. Really well, too. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? <laughs> well, does it? No, that's not possible. Junko Inoshima is dead. That's why she's the ultimate cosplayer, son. Why did you call yourself the 53rd? As history repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. Yeah. As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko Inoshima. So, you're just a freak pretending to be Junko Inoshima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow. Much like the real Jumbo machines. Whatever it is, you're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Say me things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. It never ends the game? What do you mean? She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Because she's the 53rd. That means, that means there have been like so many other freaking killing games. And I'm guessing along the way there have been plenty of times where Junko, the Junko of whatever killing game it is, has died and the killing game has con just continued on and on. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kiba. Because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? But I just showed up! You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So? So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! 
started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. But did did that those events even happen? It feels like all of that was scripted by 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 you with the flashback lights. Isn't humanity totally fine? And then I took the name Sumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? I don't think he was. He was your comrade, right? <laughs> comrade? Shinko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. Oh, was he? A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. That all being said, it really seemed that he didn't actually... Even if he was <laughs> a little despair-inducing... He didn't seem to be down for the whole killing game itself. He seemed more into wanting to shut it down constantly. Which is not what somebody who worshipped Jun Junko would want. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? There's nobody watching. Liar! Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. Your what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. B.S. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it? Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, that's wrong! Oh dear! I am so surprised! Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? I know my memories are wrong. There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. There's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Alright. Okay. The fan in me is saying, if I don't figure this out immediately... Um, I'm ashamed. So it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Okay. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. Okay. All caused by a single. 
single high school girl. Mm. Yeah, it was me. Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it wasn't just her. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancies. So you gotta play? Spot the difference! Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy! Alright! Time to play some Gone Gone Robot <laughs> Trivia! No problem. Oh. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. Inspiring war and terrorism around the world. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. Okay, that's that's it. That's not it. It wasn't just it wasn't just it wasn't just her. One high school girl started the tragedy, the ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. At least that's what I remember, but that's not what this book says. She wasn't the only one to start it. She may have been like part of the catalyst. Like, she wasn't the only one to start it. There were, it, obviously Mukuro was there, but there were, there were others. Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Inoshima. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, there's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Remembered. No, it's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. Yeah, but they locked themselves up, right? But boo -boo. When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Points that conflict with the history. Point those out next. Okay. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened. Okay. Because Junko had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair and forced into the killing game. Okay, I think that was the wrong one. About that. The events that my death set motion are now reaching their remnants of despair and the future foundation are still fighting. But for now, we've avoided the worst. Okay, go back. Go back. by the ultimate Okay. They were not held captive immediately. They they put themselves in there first. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. 
it was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. <laughs> You're BSing me? What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Just like I thought, there's something wrong there. Why? Why are our memories so different? You get scouted. You don't get to just decide you want to go. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students was in. We found out. We came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're up! Wait, wait, wait. Was it huge? <laughs> we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students. <laughs> Okay. That's wrong! We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too! <laughs> you could explain away some of them by being slightly incorrect. But this one's actually, like, that's there's a huge difference between... <laughs> A, a scouting sort of agency sort of thing versus you Maybe walking so, up in the plot. I'm not getting applying. all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other what? Memory tampering the evidence. The game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said? <laughs> Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. But That's Rantaro's a good point. Name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. Aha. Uh -huh. He wasn't a remnant of despair? 
That's impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? Proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair. Uh this one? This is it! Yeah. The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty, non-violent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were like fa friends and family, the most important people in his life. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only ten people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. Yeah. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. <laughs> He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. I know, you're you're not feeling so well because of what you had done. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. <laughs> Junko? Oh, despair. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. No, because we're all being manipulated. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Hmm? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say, there are survivors. But another would say, there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot. And there should only be one truth. But then, having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? It's for brainwashing. Then what was it for? What was it for, huh? Huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? What are the flashback lights used for? Why can't you select different memories? What does it mean if those memories contradict each other? If I put all the pieces together, it'll all make sense. We'll be able to see the real truth. Oh, what? 
What word am I trying to spell? A? Nope. T-M-P-L-A... I? Oh, M, L, it, it. I don't know. Let's try M. M, M. In imprint imprint is that what I'm spelling god guys I just want you to know how frustrating it is this this particular one it's it, oh. implant it's implant You have no idea how frustrating it is when, like, <laughs> your lexicon is, like, so huge. Yes, that's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... Not real. They were all false memories. Yeah. They were all lies. <laughs> 